Hi, I'm Rob from Aerolab, and today we're going to cover the basics of operating a spray drone. We're going to go over how to set your equipment up, how to create a task, and also getting your drone to spray your paddock. So the first thing you want to do when you arrive at your job site is to power on your local network terminal. The local network terminal, also known as the LNT, handles the communications between your drone, your controller, your ITK systems, and also your smartphone. The LNT can be powered with three different ways. It can either be powered by a standard drum battery, a 12 volt cigarette lighter that plugs into your car or ute, or via a 240 volt AC outlet. So today we're gonna to be using the drum battery to power our LNT. This is because that our ute is parked too far away and also we don't have access to a 240 volt AC outlet. So in order to use the drum battery to power our LNT, first we must turn the battery on once everything is plugged in. Once the battery is turned on and the battery lights are indicating that the battery is operating, we can pick up our LNT and press and hold the power button. So now that the LNT is powered up, we can see that the power light is on and then the second and fourth communication lights are flashing. This means that the LNT is now undergoing its boot up sequence and will take a couple of minutes before all systems are initialized. So this is a good time for us to get our drone ready, our RTK ready, and also prepare our controller. So for this video, we're going to be using the XAG P100 40 liter spray drone. To set the P100 up, we first got to mount the airframe to the spray system. And to do that, after we have dropped the airframe on top, we've got to ensure that the safety latch is on both sides. are clicked in, and also that the wiring harness and tubing are connected at the back of the aircraft. And finally, ensure that the spray arms on both sides of the drone is unfolded and ready to go. Now, once that everything on the P100 has been connected, we can now drop our batteries in. The XAG P100 takes two of these large drum batteries and they go on the back. Now, it's a good idea that after you drop the batteries in, give them a little tug to ensure that the batteries are locked in and ready to go. Now we're ready to go on to the next piece of equipment. The next piece of equipment that we're going to set up is the RTK. The RTK acts as a ground station for the drone so that the drone is able to get accurate positioning data when it's conducting its spray runs. The RTK is made up of two important systems, the mushroom head and the power pole. To connect these two together, we simply drop the mushroom head on top and screw it in. When mounting the RTK, we've got to ensure that it's at a high and level position. Included with your system is a surveyor's tripod with a level on top. Once the surveyor's tripod is mounted correctly, we can simply drop the RTK head on top and lock it into place. The LNT is an important piece of kit in your spray drone setup. It allows the spray drone to operate precisely and safely in an environment where there is zero or very limited internet and cell phone coverage. Always remember to turn on your LNT first and ensure that the boot sequence is finished before switching on any other equipment. We can check to see if the LNT is finished booting by inspecting the status lights. Once status lights one, two, and four are on and solid, while status light three is off, we know that the LNT is finished booting and in the correct working mode. Once that has happened, we can now safely turn on the drone, ITK, controller, and also connect your phone to the LNT. Aerolab will set up your equipment before it's delivered to you so that it's all paired and ready to go once you receive it. This means that once you're out in the field, all you need to do is power up all your components and it will automatically talk to each other. This means that once the drone, the OGK and the controller has been powered up, we can move on to our smart device by opening up the XAG1 app. Once all your components are switched on, you can now connect your phone to the LNT via Wi-Fi. Once your phone is connected to the LNT, you can open up the XAG1 app, log in, and navigate to the devices page. 
Once all of your devices are showing as online, we can now go into the RTK and set its location. Once the RTK location is fixed, we exit out, go into the drone, and ensure that the drone is connected to the RTK and that its location is active. Once that is done, we can ensure that all your devices are ready to go and we can move on to prepare for your mission. If you haven't already, now is the time to go and set up your area for spraying. In the app, navigate to Fields, click the top right plus icon, and select New Field. In the New Field screen, this is where you set up the boundaries for where you want your drone to spray. The XAG1 app offers you three different options to set up where the points are for this boundary. You can either use your controller, the drone, or simply use the included map on your smart device to mark out the area for spraying. Today, we're simply going to use the map, and all we need to do is click on the points where we want this boundary to be. And once we have selected the necessary points, we can adjust these points, close off the area, and once we're all happy with the area, we can save this, and it'll be saved as a new field and show up on your map. Once a new field is set up, your drone is now ready to operate. Head over to the operations page and click on the select field button underneath your drone. Select the field that you have just created and the drone will automatically generate the routes and spray conditions based on the default settings. You can adjust these settings under the spray settings and route settings until they are accordance with what your requirements are. And once you're happy, your drone is ready to go. Click on the start operations button on the bottom left of your screen Perform the necessary safety checks, and once that is complete, slide to go, and the drone will take off. Once your drone has finished its job, it will automatically return to home and land. Once it's landed and the job is done, simply switch off all of your devices with the LNT last. Once all your devices are switched off, it is now ready to be packed up and you're ready to go home.